So I'm currently on 101 days of NoFap and I want to provide a quick update on my experience so far. So I'd say zero to four days were tough as they always are because I'm like sort of just sinking into regret and shame and guilt and just frustration with myself and I just feel really lethargic and I lack a lot of energy and I have a bit of social anxiety and I feel so, so tired as well. That's how I almost always feel after a relapse. So the first four days for me are usually the worst. And then five to seven, those kind of days, they get a little bit better. Seven to 10, a little bit better again. And then the dreaded flat line occurs for me. Anyway, that's what happened this streak again. So that usually hits for 10 to 14 days for me personally. And it basically is just where you feel a bit flat as the name suggests you just feel tired and lethargic and you don't have as much like energy and especially like sexually you just feel a bit like meh that's like the best way to describe it which is a really weird experience especially because between like day seven and ten i tend to have a lot of testosterone in particular and then it just goes all flat and it's like well okay but you just have to like see it as part of the process which it is and keep on going and then coming out of that start to feel a bit more confident again up to like between four, 14 and 30 days just yeah improving in confidence starting to feel better again definitely get like a lot of testosterone back between maybe like 20 and 30 for me hit 30 days and this streak anyway and it's happened in the past between like 30 and 45 I just get like stupidly confident, um, like really kind of arrogant and overconfident, I'd say. Probably don't deserve to be that confident given my achievements in life, which is, well, not much really. So yeah, that's not great. Like I was talking to some girl and I was just being super, super confident. And to be fair, that did work out. Um, but like, you know, I'd go to the pub and I was like telling my friend about it and being a bit like, just a bit of a dick basically so yeah really need to cut that out um, hopefully it won't happen again because I won't be like between day 30 and day 45 because it's like a combination of being really ungrounded like not centered at all but also having all of that like, like extreme confidence and energy from NoFap I think that combination is what makes it quite unhealthy but then between like day 45 and 90 I certainly, and I know that's like a long period of time, and I certainly did kind of just sort of slowly like increase my confidence and groundedness and awareness and centeredness, these kind of things. Um, obviously grew in confidence as well, just because like psychologically knowing that I'd achieved more and more days felt really good. And I'm at the point now on like 101 days where I just feel like yeah, I've got this shit down and that's because I've got a new process to deal with urges and I kind of understand that there's these different parts of me that come out at different times. And I'm just like up for kind of new experiences and going at it in life. Like today I woke up and I just went for like a 10K um, and it was like fine. I just was like, yeah, I'm, I wanna go on. So I, I did like 10 kilometers and um, I just signed up to like a half marathon as well actually so I'll do that next week and it's just little things like that just kind of having that extra enthusiasm and motivation to just go for it and just be like yeah let's see what happens making new friends is uh, a lot easier recently as well I had a great coaching session with a client today and he seems to have like grown and developed so much and he does seem a lot more centered and grounded and what we were talking about is like meditation combined with NoFap is such a great practice. So I suppose on the days where I've not been grounded or centered, I've probably not meditated and that's been like a big thing for me. So anyway, that's my 90 days to sort of summarize this. I'd say first four days are the toughest. Then you feel okay for maybe like a week and then you head into the flat line where you're just going to feel a bit, a bit flat, a bit down, lacking in that real sexual energy. 14 to 30 start to your brain starts to like rewire quite a bit and start to get a bit more turned on by like real life women and, and stuff that you should be getting turned on by ultimately and then 30 to 45 for me anyway like overconfidence a bit arrogant basically a bit of a dick and then from there between like 45 and where i am now 101 it's just like slow steady progression like ups and downs but 
overall just feeling better now. So yeah, hope this video has been useful to you. Like and subscribe if you have liked this and you want to subscribe for more. And I hope you have an awesome no-fat journey and a great rest of your day.